So this is a first for me, uh, doing a, a video in an airport lounge. So I found a phone booth, so I thought, let's uh, let's cover some uh, a topic I want to talk about. So this is frequently asked questions about Microsoft Teams and the neat devices. So first up is our certified products. What is certified today? We have the neat bar, which is certified for small meeting spaces, and then it is going through certification at present for medium. And then we also have the neat board, which is also the same, certified for small, and very uh, soon it'll be certified for medium room. We then have the neat pad as a room controller, so that center of room controller. And then we also have the neat pad, which can be used as a Teams panel for that out of the uh, outside the room scheduling. So those first four devices are certified. So what's coming soon? What's next? So we're working really hard at Microsoft in collaborating on developing the first portrait neat frame device sitting in the Teams display category. So we're working really hard to get that certified in the uh, upcoming uh, few months. But also, alongside that, we are planning to certify the Neat Bar Pro. Again, that will go through certification for medium rooms, but then also go through certification for large rooms. Next up, I want to talk about content sharing capabilities. So, the ability to share content, how do we do this? Well, all our devices have HDMI ingest, so you can plug your laptop in and share content, or your phone, whatever, cell phone, whatever it might be. So a physical cable connection. You then have the ability to do Teams casting. So uh, using your mobile iOS or Android, and it's still running out on Windows or Mac, being able to cast from your laptop device too. So you can wirelessly share without being in a call. And there's some great new features in there that you can either just cast, share a screen, share your desktop, but you can also then cast and join a meeting. If there's, no, there's a meeting coming up soon, it'll read the calendar and launch that call for you at the same time. So really great features on the content sharing capabilities. And I'll do a separate video on, on that soon. Also, whiteboard capabilities. So the neat bar uh, can do whiteboarding. If you pair that with a touchscreen uh, manufacturer, you can do whiteboarding there. Obviously, neat board has whiteboarding capabilities. However, today, the way you do whiteboarding is that you must start a meeting from the client because that's where the storage is for the whiteboard. We also now have external collaboration, but you also must make sure that you are using uh, SharePoint storage for that. I've got a blog post uh, overview on that, on how you set that up. What will come soon is walk up and whiteboard. So be able to walk up to a neat board and just hit whiteboard. And then from there on, you will be able to uh, start a meeting and invite someone and then that will pass that whiteboard to that user's storage So that's a great solution there for walk up and whiteboard There's a video on my YouTube channel that you can see to see how that is uh, coming very soon Next we have um, Joining third-party meetings. So we know there is a direct guest join native to the Microsoft stack So we have this coming soon to need bar board and That will be in the next release. We've just done the uh, release for guest join, um, let's call it, on USB mode. So being able to plug in your USB cable, HDMI cable, and then do any meeting you want, such as Google Meet, BlueJeans, Goto, you name it. Some of those will be direct guest join, so you won't need any cables. You'll just invite the room and hit the join button. So that is also going to be native on the Neat devices very shortly, and the next release that will get tested, and then that will get rolled out. Another common question that comes up is custom wallpapers. How do we configure custom wallpapers? So at the moment, there is only five default wallpapers that match the Teams panel and also the front of room displays, and that's also replicated on the center of room console too. So they are the default Microsoft ones. So on the Android platform, which is what the neat products are based on, you cannot add a custom wallpaper today. Next one uh, I get asked a lot is calendar not showing on the devices or it's not appearing. Make sure it's got the right account. Make sure you've got your set calendar processing rules set up correctly. I've got uh, guides on how to set up room accounts uh, on my blog and on my video channel too. So that will tell you how to set it up and also how to compare accounts. You might have it working on one, not on the other. Let me know and we can point you in the right direction to help troubleshoot that account setup issue. Another common question we get is, can I pair a neat board with a neat pad? Not yet, that's something we're working on. 
uh, together with Microsoft to ensure that we have consistency with the uh, icons, etc. So that will will happen uh, hopefully very very soon in the next couple of months. That we'll have that ability to pair a pad, especially when you go into a medium room, when it's in a social area or huddle space, you're going to be probably in front of the device, so you, you can control it. But yes, a lot of people ask for board and pad, and we are working on that together. Another common question we get asked is digital signage integration. Do we have any? And th there is none. There's none on the product today. There's nothing in the team side of things to do that. So unfortunately, there's nothing native there uh, as of today. As I touched on earlier, BYOD mode, so that just got released on Sunday, yesterday. Uh, so that's now official in our stable channel, and you must en enable that. So that's a great feature now that you can plug in your cables and join any meeting. It's using USB 2, so anyone uh, wanting to put longer cables in, it's a little bit easier to extend. Uh, and then next up is the Teams webinar and live events. Uh, can a neat device join that? Well, a webinar, absolutely, because that's just another type of meeting, Teams meeting. So it can join that webinar uh, as, as a host or a presenter, etc. not a problem. Live events is a little bit different, a bit more tricky. Uh, so I, I believe the Microsoft Engineering Group are working on that to enable that on Android devices. And then finally, the common question, you know, is Microsoft Teams Rooms on Android ready compared to Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows? Well, you know, if you're looking for multi-camera solutions, uh, large complex rooms, then that's where Windows has a better platform and more uh, expansible capabilities. This will come to maybe Android uh, as well, where you have you know better audio integration for those larger spaces. But you know the neat devices will fit 90% of your spaces and very, do it very well. So that is available uh, to cover all them. Feature set, it's very narrow now in the feature parity. I'll put a link in the description below on Microsoft's official guide on, on Windows versus Android, but that gap is closing. So that's just a short video I thought I'd record here uh, while I wait for my flight to, to Infocom in Vegas. And any questions, let me know.